Spinning ball Earth and flatten it out and put it back in the heliocentric model. Lying companies to discredit the flat Earth. Hard. I live in hell. We have been ridiculed, we have been trolled, we have been... Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of this series. I am Rider of Dinosaurs. For all my time on YouTube, I've avoided addressing longer videos. But since this um, <clears throat> documentary came up, I decided to give it a go. Just a warning, I will be cutting parts that I feel that are of no use. So, in using this quote as a reminder to get your face palm protection on, let's get started. The one thing globe believers need to understand is that you don't just take the spinning ball earth and flatten it out and put it back in the heliocentric model. Like it's just the only misfit planet and it's flat and the rest of the planets are round. First of all, we are not globe believers, as we do not need to believe. We know the Earth is an oblate spheroid. And how do we know? Well, it's a very well kept secret. Only a few select number of people have access to this secret Masonic Illuminati knowledge. But I'll tell you, come closer. Closer, please. It's books. And these books even show you secret ancient spells and rituals on how to find out for yourself. Imagine that. It's amazing. Oh, oh, and these books can only be found in special buildings. And they contain thousands of books. And I'll tell you more, they're hidden in plain sight. Oh yes, they are. And they even have a special secret Illuminati name for it. Ready? They're called libraries. No Flat Earther has ever said that. No Flat Earther will ever say that because it's not what we believe. The Earth is in a pancake floating in outer space. And you will never hear a Flat Earther say that. And if you would ever actually take the time to study it for yourself or hear a flat earther through, then you would find that it's much different and things would actually make more sense. I don't think so. They've got the narrative control to where anyone that goes to search for this, they're going to see pancakes floating up in space, you know, and it turns people away. Or they see a snow globe, a snow globe out in the middle of space with water falling off the sides. And they're like, what is this? Oh, do you mean this? Or this? That was already funny. You, complaining people, are being put off by those depictions of the flat earth. You know, the same depictions you lot sold at that joke of a conference. But there's also a hidden gem in that sentence of yours. What is it, you ask? Let's hear it again. Pancakes floating up in space, you know, and it turns people away. Or they see a snow globe. A snow globe out in the middle of space with water falling off the sides, and they're like, what is this? And there it is. Flat Earth accuracy at its best. So, if this is a snow globe, what do you call this? Hint, the clue is in the name. I can almost hear you scream in the comments, Flat Earthers know what a globe is, or a snow globe in this case, he just made a mistake. Well, let's see if that was really a lapsus linguae. People that think that Flat Earth is stupid think Flat Earth is stupid because they're thinking of a stupid Flat Earth. Oh yeah, I forgot all the really high IQ members of Flat Earth. I have to say, when you're right, you're right, and you are... JM, is uh, 10 to the negative 12, is that a negative number? 10 to the negative 12? Yes. Well, what do you mean by negative? Well, what do you mean by negative? A little bit late, but I'm up uh, doing a little bit of high IQ, you know, skeptic uh, uh, research. 
as you can see here, you know, a gazillion tabs open. <laughs> the earth is flat. We just ran our percent here, and the earth is definitely flat. It's 100% flat. The signal is coming from the north, not down. Wow. Yep, that happened. And they ridicule and make fun of flat earthers. It's and this, as mentioned previously, is not a snow globe. As you can see, flat earthers don't know what a snow globe is. How can they claim they've debunked the globe earth? Absolutely ridiculous. So we agree, flat earthers are totally ridiculous. Since 2015, the content providers, flat earth, have had a living hell. We have been ridiculed, we have been trolled, we have been... So, title of the stream is Russians hacking of Martin leaked his channel and FE targeted. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Ah, yes. The day the <coughs> Russians targeted Flat Earther and Mud Flood proposer Martin Litke, they stole his channel. And how can this be? I gave him the details. So, what happened? Well, let's allow the man himself to explain it. The very next day, I get a YouTube um, email stating um, somebody's made a complaint saying you've been spamming your your um, channel please could you give us your passwords and your url so we can check into your youtube channel to see if it's any efficacia or we'll close you down so no warning no nothing i thought well with that comment you know it's a given that it's youtube i didn't even didn't even think that it wasn't so i gave him the details so i gave him the details He is so special. He is, isn't he? But let's continue. If the globe model was as strong as they claim to be, then there wouldn't be so much concern with anybody talking about a stationary Earth model. All right, let's flip that around. If the flat Earth model was as strong as you claim it to be, then it wouldn't be so much of a concern with anybody talking about a rotating globe model, would it? Now, everything's fine in court until somebody walks in with a load of shit on you. Everything's fine until somebody out there has evidence that's going to prove you guilty. And what do you call when someone catches you lying? lying. And that's when you start acting suspicious. That's when you start panicking. That's when you start putting con uh, damage control. This is just a new lie that was started in the 20s and even before then they weren't really teaching anything about the world and where we were, it was just common knowledge. If you know me, then you know I love when they make these kind of claims. So, as always, let's prove them wrong. But first, let's hear the claim again. This is just a new lie that was started in the 20s and even before then they weren't really teaching anything about the world and where we were, it was just common knowledge. I think that's enough, don't you? For anyone who wants to check out for themselves, all of these photos were taken from the Library of Congress, which is online. Uh, the links are in the images, so pause the video at the image you want to search, and then there's the link there, so you can type it on your computer. And this is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it, See you in my next video. Oh, and uh, by the way, if you want part two, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. Bye.
Thank you.